probably nice to get together there and uh, have a little fun. Ashley Gann, when's the sogginess gonna go away? That's the question. Okay, here's the good news, Jack. By tomorrow, we'll see some big improvements. Tonight's really the end of the massive rain, and tomorrow it's only going to be a few spotty showers. But taking a look at our storm team tower cam in Tuscaloosa, it seems to be crying out a different picture right now with all of the rainfall. Rainfall totals so far today well over an inch, and most of that has actually fallen since sunset tonight. Temperatures now in Tuscaloosa sitting at 71 degrees. We were tracking those severe thunderstorm warnings. They have all since expired, but now there is a line of heavy rainfall pushing through East Alabama from Gadsden down towards Anniston into Lineville and stretching down towards Rockford at this time. This will be making its way towards Lake Martin and then north up towards Anniston, Oxford and Heflin. So just be mindful of that. And again, right along this leading edge moving into Lineville, we could have some pretty powerful straight line winds there as these storm systems will be impacting Lineville, really knocking on your back door onto Corinth in about 15 minutes. So just keep that in mind as we roll the clock forward. All of this wet mess is getting on out of here, though. So for the next six hours by midnight, it's gone. And the skies, though, a bit cloudy, especially here in Birmingham. Temperatures sitting at 71. But look at a difference just a few miles makes. We saw over an inch in T-Town. Today's rain in Birmingham, hardly half of an inch. Temperatures across the board primarily in the 70s. We've got upper 60s in Moundville, mid 70s in Alexander City. Haven't had a lot of rainfall there today, but once they get some of that rain, those temperatures will dial back just a bit. But it will be a dry start to our Friday morning. Winds out of the south, clouds increasing by mid morning. But notice it's going to be relatively quiet. We could see just a few passing afternoon showers and then maybe a rumble of thunder here and there through the overnight hours, but nothing major. So we're actually seeing some improvements for tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow in the mid to upper 80s, 70s by Saturday morning, back in the mid to upper 80s this weekend. It's going to be another hot weekend, and you can see just a few isolated thunderstorms Saturday afternoon. But starting tomorrow through the weekend, it's going to be more of that seasonable weather pattern that we have during the summer. Dry starts to the day, followed by those afternoon and evening storms that we can see here. We're tracking those Saturday night as well. So as you're talking about the pool forecast for tomorrow, I would stay weather aware. We're really on the low end of this 30 to 50 percent chance of rain. That that 30% really kind of being, hey, just keep an eye out. Keep it, listen out for those rumbles of thunder. So here in dust, uh, dust, a lot of questions asked about this. It's starting to make its way into Alabama by Saturday evening. We could see it all the way up through the Tennessee Valley, even up towards southern parts of Illinois and Indiana. Limits tropical development will make for some beautiful sunsets for us. Minor air quality issues, but if we can't get these clouds out of here and the rain out of here, we may not see some of those beautiful sunsets. It's going to be a beautiful weekend at the beach. Could see a few thunderstorms on Sunday down on the coast, though. Staying hot, though, temperatures closer to 90 for the next five to seven days. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.